Hi there. Hi there. Um, welcome to City Skylines for Beginners. This is going to be tutorial number eight. Um, right now, I'm, of course, still waiting for the waves from when we made the shoreline in number seven to subside. So until that happens, um, I can't show you too much. Uh, and I do have to help you uh, go through correcting an error that I made when I had you do the shoreline. So we'll take care of that first, but I'm going to put you on hold right now until all of these waves have finished crashing back and forth. And it's going to take a while because I already made my correction out here, and you'll see that later. So um, I'm sure you've already watched this. Those of you who are who are following along on your own map and and actually creating this map, you've had a chance to actually watch your your uh, water flooding in and out. Those of you who have not, this is what it looks like. It it just it looks terrible, but trust me, it it does wash back out to sea and it does you know come rushing back in. I mean, you can see that right here, I think. Probably, oh, maybe not. Okay, there, the waves will, oh, there it is. See, these waves will rush out and in and out and in and out. And um, you just have to wait for them to finish doing their thing before you can do anything. So we're, we're going to wait for that to happen. And I'm going to put you on hold while we're waiting. Then when we come back, there are two things I want to have you do. One is correct my error on your map, and the other I'm going to have you put in a shipping lane. Okay, um, putting you on hold. I'll be back in what for you will be a second. I'll probably be about an hour on my side. Holding. Hi, I'm back. Just wanted to show you, those of you who are not actually doing the tutorial as you go along, how far back this water washes. Way back there against the hills it washes and it doesn't come flooding back out from there it just kind of sinks into the ground once it gets out in that area but I just thought I'd show you that I'm still waiting for it to finish waving back and forth as you can see there's still a lot of waves here whole lot of waves so still waiting but I just want to for those of you as I said who are not actually creating your own map I just wanted you to see that this is how it works it, it flushes all the way back across the entire map for something like this. Okay, I'm going to put you back on hold, and hopefully uh, in a f another half an hour I can finish this tutorial for you. Holding. Okay, the uh, water has stopped washing back and forth, and you can now see the shoreline, and that's what I wanted to talk to you about. Um... When I had you do tutorial number seven with the shorelines, I had the shoreline coming across here and going all the way across three of the bottom squares of your map and then cutting in uh, over here to the other end. Um, we don't want to do that. And I'll explain to you in another tutorial why. You only want it to come out from the middle of the first square into the second square just down in this corner and then back out around the middle of that square and again uh, you'll also want to uh, do your shoreline along it it only has to go out about yay far the shoreline once you've made that correction on your tutorial you can come back and um, I'm going to show you how to do a shipping lane and explain why you need one so um, <clears throat> So go ahead and put me on hold, go do your thing if you're going to do your thing, and then come back. So we're going to show you, as soon as I'm going to give everybody maybe a half a minute here to, you know, leave, do their thing, come back. Okay, um, I'm assuming everyone's back now. So uh, down in the bottom here where we have all of our icons, where we used to do our terraforming, um, we're going to go two, three, four, five, six, seven icons over and hit the roads icon. But instead of being in roads, which is highways, we're going to go two, three, four over on the tabs at the top and hit the ship tab, 
you know, for shipping. And we're going to create a shipping path. It's like a shipping lane. Ships have to know where they're going. So now turn your map so that you can see the inside of your map and the outside of your map. Because you're going to have the ship coming in here, going across here, and then going back out here. To do that, you just have to click on this little shipping lane thing. Make sure it's blue. I think it always is, but, you know. And then you uh, hold down the left side of your mouse button. Forget about the distance too short thing. Bring it in to the map. And then you can let go and touch once your left side of your mouse. Then you don't have to hold it down. You just keep going with it until you get it where you want it to go. And every time you touch the left side, it creates uh, more of the map. And we're going to go all the way out to here and do it, but I'm going to scroll in so you can see what it's actually doing. Um, you might want to get down this far when you're doing it. Um, okay, clicking the left side, scrolling, clicking the left side, scrolling, and I'm kind of trying to go by where, um, okay, right here is where the boats are going to come in, and so I need to, okay, I'm uh, clicking on it to grab hold of it again. Okay, <clears throat> scrolling, clicking, left clicking, scrolling, clicking, scrolling, clicking, and clicking outside of the map. So now we've got, if you get way down in here, it'll be just like the roads that I'm going to show you later. You'll see that the boats can come in and go out here. And they can over here where we came in. You can see from the arrow they can come they can both come in and go out over here. Okay. <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna put you on hold for a minute while I take you to another map. I'm going to now show you how to do intersections. Um, Actually, maybe I won't. Um, this is already seven minutes, so we'll let it go at that. And I'll take you into tutorial number nine, where we will do intersections and roads. But as long as we've got this part done correctly, we're doing good. Um, I do want to show you one thing. I'll get this turned off. I don't know if you can see the map very well on YouTube, but um, this is the map we're working with. And well, actually, we, we can we can move our starting tile. Um, I wonder if it shows it in the nighttime. Yes. Okay. Night shows it much better. You can see the the lines of the map that we actually work w within inside of our map, and we're only allowed nine tiles. I don't know why. We just are. Um, and so we have to pick carefully which ones we're going to use, and we have to pick which one we're going to start with. We're going to move. This is the starting tile right now. It's got brighter dots around it. We're going to move that starting tile. And the way we're going to do that is by going to Map Settings. That's the one at the far right, down at the bottom here. And then clicking on the map that says Start Tile. And see, then it'll turn the start tile blue for you. And we're going to take that start tile down here. And we're going to make it the one on the bottom with all the islands on the left-hand side. We want the starting tile to be the one here in the middle of the five at the bottom. So click there. That is now your starting tile. You can now turn that off. And you can see that this is the one that you're starting with. The reason I want this one here is because in order for us to be able to make this map turn into a city we and post it as a city, we have to have a stream of water other than the, ro the ocean running into the map and through it and then back out. And we're going to do that right here as innocuously as possible and then build our city starting right there. Okay. <clears throat> but we have to be able to put that in. So uh, we do want to do that. And we've and you do want to put in your shipping lanes. And then in tutorial number nine, 
This is eight, right? Yeah. Tutorial number nine, where I'm going to show you how to put your, your road intersections in and then connect them so that you have roads coming in. Um, and I'll explain to you in that tutorial why it's important to do that in the map and not when you get into the game. But that's for tutorial number nine. So we're done here. Remember to save your map. Save your map. Save it as the tutorial you gave it to the name of down here and then up here give it the same name not the one I gave necessarily but whatever you want it to be and then say save and then say yes I do want to overwrite I should show you this on every one of them but I almost always forget so I'll see you in tutorial number nine. Remember when you get to tutorial number nine to set your, your uh, settings on the tutorial at 480p. I think I explained how you do that in uh, tutorial two or three. Okay, that's it for this one. See you in nine. Bye.